Some campaigners say we don't need fracking. They say gas produced by fracking could be replaced by wind and solar instead. That is not true. This film explains the facts. There are three areas where gas cannot currently be replaced by renewable energy – heating, manufacturing and electricity generation. Why can't we generate our electricity using wind and solar? Renewable energy sources are an important, though limited, part of the energy mix. Wind typically provides less than 15% of our electricity, and solar less than 2%. So why not build more wind turbines and more solar panels? We could do that. We would need to build around 200,000 wind turbines, but even if we did that, they wouldn't provide all of our energy all of the time. Wind turbines don't work when there's no wind. Solar energy has similar issues. For example, solar farms need lots of land and don't work at night. And what about tidal? Well, the technology is in its infancy, but even the most ambitious plans would only see it capable of producing 8% of our energy needs. The fact is, if we want to be able to turn on our lights at any time, we need fossil fuels or nuclear. Gas is 50% cleaner than coal and 25% cleaner than oil. That's why when you switch to gas, carbon emissions go down. So, if renewable energy was more reliable and more widespread, then we could do away with gas. That's not the case. Gas is used for much more than electricity generation. For example, 8 out of 10 UK homes depend on gas central heating. It would cost every one of those households thousands of pounds to replace their gas boilers with electric systems, and the monthly cost of heating your home would roughly double. So, if we invented reliable green power and replaced everyone's gas central heating, then we could get rid of gas. Actually, no. Gas is not just a fuel we burn. It's also a raw material we use to make countless essential products such as medicines, clothing, buildings, vehicles, computers and even green technologies. Solar panels and wind turbines couldn't be produced without gas. None of these would be possible without the molecules we get from gas. Even solar panels and wind turbines couldn't be produced without gas. Gas provides the building blocks for many of the day-to-day -day items we take for granted. The fact is, we will need gas for at least the next 30, 40 or even 50 years. Why can't we just continue to get our gas from the North Sea? Sadly, North Sea gas is running out. In 2014, the UK had to import over half of the gas we needed, and this will continue to rise. The national grid predicts 69% by 2019. So why can't we just keep buying our gas from abroad? We can, but that means relying on regions including the Middle East, and it means handing tens of billions of pounds a year to other countries. The good news is, there is potentially enough gas under our feet to supply the UK for decades. We can heat our homes without having to rely on the goodwill of volatile overseas regions. Our tax revenues can stay in this country to help fund our hospitals, schools and essential public services rather than those of foreign countries. Manufacturing jobs can stay in the UK instead of going abroad. INEOS believes that for all these reasons, here in the UK we should access and use our UK gas to support the UK economy. The Royal Academy of Engineering, the Royal Society, the Health and Safety Executive and the Environment Agency have all concluded that fracking is safe if best practice is used and the monitoring is robust. INEOS will carry out shale gas production to the highest safety and environmental standards.